All right, ladies and gentlemen, as wild as my peacock hair is right now, yeah, I'm looking all kind of messed up, but nevertheless, man, so Dragon Ball Super is officially over, but I think it's a very likely chance and a very safe thing to say that it's going to be back in 2019 because now that the series is over, it's all hands on deck. They already announced it prior to the end of Dragon Ball Super that it's all hands on deck at the um, at the animation studio that they were going to be um, pushing for this new Dragon Ball Z movie to come out uh, by December of 2018. So by the end of this year, we're going to be getting a new Dragon Ball Z movie. And I know a lot of y'all seen the trailer, which I'm going to get into. But in this video, um, this isn't necessarily a recap, but this is going to be Easter eggs, theories, and just some general discussion about the ending of Dragon Ball Super that I think people missed. There were a couple Easter eggs that I'm going to point out. Just some little cool things that I don't think a lot of people uh I don't a lot of, I don't think a lot of people recognize. So, the first thing I want to mention is that there was an Easter egg um basically referring to the first time Goku had turned Super Saiyan. Now I'm going to turn this on right here. Forgive me if you hear the background noise. I'm going to mute my microphone. And I'm, I'm going to show it. And at this moment right here, this is when, this is the first Easter egg right here. For those of us who have been fans, this moment right here. You see this. You see how Goku's kind of struggling, turning to Super Saiyan for the first time? This kind of in reference to, uh, let's see, what's this? To this right here. And this is back during uh, Dragon Ball Z, during the Frieza saga, back after Frieza killed Krillin. And you see how Goku is struggling to turn Super Saiyan. His, his hair is flashing gold, and he's uh, struggling to bring that energy out of him, out of himself. Now, if you notice that. You compare that to this. That was one nice little, one nice little treat for those of us who've been, you know, fans of the anime for so long. You look at his face right there. You'll see us the same. right there. That was an epic moment right there. So that was so epic. Now to get further, there was a second Easter egg, and I don't think a lot of people um, realized. Well, I think this was like one of the Easter eggs. I think a lot of people understood where it came from. But just in case, at the ending of Dragon Ball Super, you see right here, this is an ode to the Saiyan saga. The, the saga that started off Dragon Ball Z, I believe. I think it was like a, a little mini saga before the, the Saiyan saga. But this right here is what really kicked off Dragon Ball Z was the was the Saiyan saga when Raditz first came to, to Earth to try to kidnap, well, try to uh, recruit Goku and see how, you know, everything was. And um, when Vegeta and Goku first met, and they were actually in the same mountain, mountain region, actually Goku, uh, Vegeta was actually like a little bit higher up on the mountain, but nevertheless, th these are the stances in reference to this right here. Somebody drew this, I don't know who, but... um. You know, they did a pretty good job. So whoever this belongs to, you guys did great. Uh, there's a couple more. But this is like the first time that they actually fought each other. Um, and, you, you know, you can't really find any actual footage anymore. Because once they came out with Dragon Ball Kai, they kind of, you know, jacked up the original the original series. But you see right here, this is the mountain region right here from the original Dragon Ball uh, Z animation. Where they were standing... In, in front of each other and kind of sizing each other up right before they fought and I don't know who the hell drew that we, we gonna leave that alone but yeah that was the first little so just a couple little cool Easter eggs now during Dragon Ball Super uh, 17 for those of us who seen it uh, 17 made the wish that he want he was going to uh, bring back all of the previously 
erase universes. Now, here's a question that I have, and this is where the theories start kicking off, right? Let me just uh, get that moment up on screen. See, right there. Please restore all of the universes that were erased. Now, this is where my theory kicks in. Did they truly bring back every universe? He said, he said, please restore all universes. Now, you know, thinking logically here, I'm pretty sure that he was only referring to the universes that were erased during the Tournament of Power. But for those of us who've been watching Dragon Ball Super you know, since the beginning, actually, if you watch... The, the resurrection of f movie and when you watch the battle of the gods movie you can pretty much skip like the first 30 to 32 maybe 35 episodes of dragon ball super and be caught up with by just watching those two movies alone but um for those of us who've been watching dragon ball super since the beginning um and leading up to the tournament of power arc uh it was actually announced uh that zeno had originally like there were formerly 18 universes in total but Zeno, he erased six out of anger, you know, and, you know, then got it from right here. Um, it was originally 18. At first, I thought it was 16, but it's a good thing I checked up on this because it was more than I realized. It was more than I remembered. Um, but, yeah, originally there were 18 universes. So when he wished for all the erased universes to come back, did he bring back the other six that were previously erased by Zeno as well? I don't know. There's no confirmation. I mean, you can only say to assume he said bring back all the universes, right? But of course, it's always possible that he only that the dragon only resurrected the uh, the current twelve that were around during Super. So maybe we're gonna get some more um, arcs out of that by exploring the other universe. Maybe they're gonna have another tournament of power because actually during the tournament of power i think zeno he had like the little god to ipad looking thing and the grand priest had actually uh was making comments with him when um honestly like i couldn't remember who was fighting but i i want to say it was maybe goku and jiren when maybe goku first went ultra instinct or maybe or maybe it was a second it was like one of those no it was actually when uh frieza was in his golden form and he was going up against um he was going up against uh he was going up against Dispo. And he had activated his like his light speed mode and he was going so fast that the God Two um pad couldn't uh it couldn't keep up. So the Grand Priest kinda made a comment where it was kinda like maybe they're gonna have another tournament of power where all the universes are involved next time. I don't know. But he did kind of kind of foreshadow that maybe there was going to be a next time so maybe we're going to get another tournament of power winner um in the future now with everything i just said about the uh about the series ending i mean it, it's it's pretty likely that it's going to come back in 2000 uh, in 2019 i think it's pretty like there's just too much to be left behind you know i don't see them stopping anytime soon because they ended it on a high note regardless if it kind of started off slow you know some of the arcs like the goku black arc it was rushed let's be honest here the, the goku black arc was very very rushed um and then you have this one which was well done this this arc was well done like the tournament of power arc was actually well done but um they left much to be desired you know there's still the issue with Vegeta has to go visit, um, he has to go visit, uh, planet, uh, well, I, I began to call it planet salad because that's basically where the name came from, but, um, planet, uh, Sadala, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I don't want to get it wrong. But yeah, he had plans to go visit that planet and meet Kaba's father. Uh, which was supposed to be their universe's version of um, uh, of Planet Vegeta uh, in Universe Seven. So, most definitely, that's a that's a storyline arc right there. Maybe there's some enemies there that they'll fight, but I think it'll be something cool. That's something to touch on in the future. 
Um, we also have the rematch between Jiren and Goku that they, well, well, the Pride Troopers and the fighters from Universe 7 at the very least, or Topo and Vegeta, or, you know, between Topo and Vegeta and, and, um, and Goku and Jiren. There's another fight that can happen there. And also, what happened at the end of uh, Dragon Ball Super. You know, you see Frieza. You know, he was resurrected by Whis. By Whis. And he came back. So, what's going to happen with him? Um... You know, th th there's so much. To, there's, there's just too much to to touch on. Like the potential for Dragon Ball for 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 the other Dragon Ball arcs is just basically looking very good right now. Like there's a pretty good selection of what you can do and what you could be, like. I, I already just looking at just going over what I'm going over. There's at least a good four more arcs that can make out of this. If they if they now granted whether or not they make them well and they don't rush them like they did the Goku Black arc, they can make some pretty well made arcs out of this at least four they can get at least four more arcs out of this and then you can add an arc maybe maybe the other six the, the other six universes that were previously erased did come back along with the um with, with the universes that were erased during the tournament of power that's arcs right there so it's just it's just so much that can be done um but with that being said let's go over to the dragon ball z uh, movie te uh, Dragon Ball Super movie teaser because we I, got, I actually got to touch on this. So let me turn that down. So so this is an original story um, and a new adventure, which I think may kick off a new storyline arc for in the event that Dragon Ball Super does come back in 2019 because it may come back you know late in the year or whatever but but it's pretty safe to say it's going to come back so let me stop acting like it's not but when it does come back i'm uh, just looking at this the movie I, I know this is just a teaser it's not an official uh let me back up i know that the movie teaser isn't the official you know um movie and what they may do in the actual movie but from what i'm seeing in here as far as what this new what this scenery is i don't necessarily know what we we, we have to expect now the setting of the movie i want to say it seems to be earth but there's always a possibility that they may be doing this on another planet that's actually a possibility nothing confirmed i mean this the, the teaser is all we have to go by they didn't release any more information about it as of late so as as of the time i'm recording this video they haven't released any more information outside of the teaser this is all we have to go by so it's possible that you know i mean it, it may be a safe bet to say that this is going to be on earth um but i think over the course of dragon ball z Dragon Ball, you know, I don't know what their plans is, but it would be interesting to see that this plot takes place on another planet somewhere. You know, that would be actually kind of interesting if you ask me. Um, and it will also explain why this Saiyan, um, this new Saiyan, whoever he may be, yeah, this guy right here. Whoever he may be, um, it may explain, you know, that, you know, because you would have to assume that Vegeta and Nappa and the few other Saiyans that avoided being destroyed with Planet Vegeta when Frieza destroyed it, you would have to assume that there were other Saiyans that made it off the planet and they just ended up elsewhere and maybe the storyline could be that this saying ended up on another planet and he was like frozen frozen there for quite some time and somehow he developed his powers or i don't know but something can be told there like i think y'all see where i'm going with this and 
as far as his powers go, we don't know necessarily when the plot of this is going to take place. I mean, it's a Dragon Ball Super movie, so we can only assume that, you know, Goku is going to have Super Saiyan Blue and a God power and all of that. And maybe this Saiyan has an ability right now the power of this saying i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna come up with a name for it right now we're gonna call this the power of saiyan prime like the saiyan prime power like maybe this is just like a power boost that has like an infinite amount of energy um that can match up with the person that he's fighting i don't know it's just like a random thought i mean i've seen so much anime in my lifetime like i'm only 28 i've seen so much anime you know since i was like five that that's not too far fetched out of the uh, out of the realm of possibility. That um that this Saiyan Prime power is going to be um is going to be something along the lines of that. This cowlick is crazy, yeah, but um yeah, I think that's something interesting. Uh, and just looking at just watching him bulk up he actually has a pretty good amount of power but i don't know how long that's going to last you know is it going to be able to match up with goku's other forms if they are going to allow you know i don't, I don't know what's good what's going to be maybe you know in some random plot twist maybe he's able to suck the energy from goku and maybe kind of like take the energy of his forms and apply it to himself because mind you he was bulking up um like this guy was bulking up so I went back too far. Yeah, this dude right here, he was kind of bulking up. Yeah, right, like right there. So, I don't know what that could be. You know, I don't, it's some ability that this guy has that allows him to power up. And no Saiyan can just, you know, bulk up their muscles without adding some energy to them. And, um... The movie is going to be pretty interesting, so th that's just my theory on the movie. Maybe the Saiyan comes from one of the one of the original six universes that were destroyed. Maybe I know it's kind of out there, but maybe, um, maybe the Saiyan got frozen on another planet somewhere. And somehow he was able to, you know, like wake himself back up. That's another possibility, because this does take place, or at least from the teaser, it takes place in a frozen area. Or maybe he was just frozen on Earth, or he came from somewhere. Or maybe somebody gathered the Dragon Balls and wished for another Saiyan to come back. Like, you don't know. Like, there's just a lot of possibility and a lot of room for, um, a lot of room for speculation and such. So, I'm looking forward to whatever this movie has like i said i'm it's pretty safe to say that the dragon ball um super series is going to come back in 2019 sometimes in 2019 but one they have to give it time and animes are known to do this for those of us who understand animes and mangas and things like that oftentimes the series will take a break and go on a hiatus to give it time to catch up to what the manga to catch up to the manga cuz you don't want the manga in the anime mangas and animes they don't necessarily um, especially if it's like a long running series like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, um, they oftentimes let the, the manga, let the anime catch up with them, um, with the manga for like a short period of time and then they go on a hiatus and then, you know, they continue on with the manga and then they bring the, the um, they, and then they bring the anime back. So that's one thing. And two, it gives them time to focus on the movie, which they're trying to get out as soon as possible. Like I said, like the deadline is uh, is uh, the end of this year in December. They want to have it released. So looking forward to that. Um, yeah, man, it's just going to be a crazy, crazy movie. I just hope this is just not one of those things where this guy just gets pushed over. You know what I mean? I hope he actually puts up a fight against Goku and, um, you know, and maybe Frieza's gonna come, you know, if, if this is a Dragon Ball Super movie, here's another free, here's, here's another uh, theory that I might have, and it just popped in my head. What if Frieza comes to help Goku fight this guy? You know, I mean, like, maybe it's gonna take Goku, Frieza, and Vegeta. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe that'll be something interesting to, to see. You know, 
Frieza come back and like fight with Goku once again and maybe there's I don't know something can come from that because I don't think this is going to be I don't think the Tournament of Power was the last time we're going to see Frieza and Goku uh, face all face um, enemies side by side you know face opponents side by side I think that was kind of like a prelude to something that else that might happen and it may happen in the movie so I don't know maybe Frieza might come to the rescue again I don't know but um with that being said man uh thank you guys for watching this video um make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff uh March 30th is going to be the World Warriors Collective Esports Team clothing line presentation, the final one. Make sure you guys are there at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here on YouTube. Um, so make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell to know when I go live. I do live streams daily from 12 to 4 p.m. And from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. and then 6 to 9 p.m. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun, man trying to increase that live stream attendance but nevertheless man thank you guys for watching peace and i will see you guys later until then keep on gaming